What's up, everybody? It's Rocky with the Couch Thoughts Podcast. I'm back with another trailer reaction. I'm a little late on this one, got a little busy this week, but it's the uh, Clone Wars trailer, Season 7 trailer from Star Wars Celebration. Uh, you know, about the Clone Wars, I'm a big Clone Wars guy. Um, I actually didn't watch it when it was on uh, television, when it originally aired. Um, but, you know, the thing about Clone Wars is it's the last thing that George Lucas truly created. So uh, along with Dave Filoni, who's kind of taken over the show. Uh, I've watched the panel up to this point. I'm at the 52 minutes and 18 seconds uh, point right before the trailer starts. I've seen the clips. Uh, pretty cool. Ashley Eckstein out there. Sam Witwer. Uh, you know, um, so I'm pretty excited. Let's see about this trailer. And here we go. And play. Actually watching the actual panel this time, not just the separate trailer. Okay, there's Ahsoka leaving the order. At the end of season five, I believe. Season six was kind of one-offs. There not she goes. Back. You are making a mistake. Maybe. She didn't make a mistake but because Rebel Shield was awesome. Out on my own. Without the council and without you. Where exactly are you? Oh, there from? she's on the speeder bike from the clip. I used to live in the upper levels of Coruscant. You're probably better off down here. Oh, uh, she's back to the she's Jedi down to thirteen, thirteen. Down. Starting wars. Mace Windu. Oh, look at there, I've jet troopers. So many of my brothers fall during this war. Fives. Echo. Rex. Heavy. Rex takes the chip out of his head, Master Yoda. So we know he survived. How to win the war? No longer certain that one ever does wow, win Wow, look the at war. the scale of this. Fire. That's crazy. You'll never see any Jedi around here. It's not safe down here. Things could have gotten messy for you. That's why I've got my ship. What's okay, there's the new character. Experimental unit clone force 99. The cavalry has there's arrived! There's the Bad Batch. Uh, we saw a clip of that. Uh, that was released before. Kind of clip we saw. He's showing there. respect. They painted their faces like Ahsoka. There she is, kicking ass. Oh, two blue lightsabers. Maybe a little better. Well, that was awesome. A little slide there. Mando action. What? Whoa. Soka flying with the Mando. Wow. I was hoping for Kenobi. Why are you? You here. Oh, Maul. There's Maul. Siege of Mandalore. That's what this is supposed to be about. Oh, Star Wars The Clone Wars in red. All right, I think that's it. Back to the celebration crowd there. So, guys, what did I think of that? That was pretty cool. The, the first thing I notice is just the scale of it. Um, you know, the, the, the first five seasons of The Clone Wars and season six that was on Netflix didn't really have, I mean, there was a big scale there. The, don't get me wrong, but I feel like 
uh, Filoni's taking it up a notch here. Um, you know, and he's previously said that uh, he didn't want to do it unless he had the right resources and, uh, you know, he could he could make the right, uh, just do it right, basically. And you know with Filoni, he's going to do it right. Uh, you know, one thing about Dave Filoni, it is insane to me that he is not the Kevin Feige of Star Wars. Uh, you know, Kevin Feige to Marvel, he's like the creative head. He's, uh, you know, uh, guiding everything. He has a he has a, a, a like a 10-year plan or 5-year plan after the next Avengers movie which comes out next week, so that'd be pretty cool. But you know, the fact that Dave Filoni who learned from George Lucas himself, you know, the creator he learned from George Lucas the fact that he's not the Kevin Feige on all of this, on all of the movies. Now they're taking a little break after Episode Nine, um, so hopefully, maybe he'll he'll take up that role. But I'm I'm getting off track here, guys. I, I get I get a little excited about Dave Filoni. Uh, he is directing, uh, you know, at least an episode of The Mandalorian. So uh, you know, stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, the scale huge. Um, you know, it looked like Ahsoka's, uh, you know, she kind of, she fell from the, or she left the order and she's kind of fallen on Coruscant, uh, you know, down to, uh, the 1313 level, uh, you know, which, uh, is for Star Wars fans, you, you know what that is, but, um, you know, there, there's different layers of Coruscant. She's down there, obviously, you know, the war finds her and brings her back. Uh, you know, maybe Maul does that. Maybe they, they, uh, you know, tell her that Maul is back and he's, he's taken over Mandalore with the dark saber and, um, you know, that the, they're going to have to go get Mandalore back. Uh, and you know, that, that's what this one's about. We saw the bad batch in there, which, you know, uh, people who've watched Star Wars celebrations before we, we've actually got that footage. Um, it was just a, a real when when Dave Filoni thought the show was over, uh, he, he kind of made that real and showed it to people, but they're going to use that as an arc. It looks like these kind of, they're basically, I think he said in the panel, they're, they're basically these like deformed soldiers, uh, that kind of, uh, you know, that they're, they're kind of, instead of throwing them out, uh, they're going to use them in battle because they have certain, uh, abilities. Like one is very strong, uh, you know, and, and they, they showed them in action in one of the clips in the, in the, uh, in the panel, but that trailer guys, a lot of action. Uh, we know what we're getting into the siege of Mandalore. Ahsoka is back. Um, you know, and I, Ashley Eckstein actually talked about in the panel going back from an older Ahsoka in rebels, uh, going back to the younger Ahsoka, uh, a teenager Ahsoka when she left the order, um, you know, and, and obviously she's, she's more wise than the rest of them, uh, you know, which, it's kind of cool in the original, you know, in season five, at the end of season five, she kind of saw through the flaws of the Jedi. And that's really what the prequels are about. Um, you know, so you can kind of see George Lucas's involvement there. The, the, the prequels are about, and even, uh, you know, Luke says it in The Last Jedi, the hubris of the Jedi allowed uh, Darth Sidious to rise. And, uh, you know, Yoda, who thought he was all-knowing and everything... Uh, you know, let the, all this happen, but failure, the greatest teacher is so, or the greatest teacher failure is or something, whatever he said there in the last Jedi. So he failed. He knew it. He tried to teach Luke. Um, Luke overcame still despite Yoda in, in the, the, uh, sequel trilogy, uh, not the sequel, tri the original trilogy. What am I talking about? Um, but she saw through the flaws. The only one, the only Jedi that was ever right was Mace Windu. Uh, and we saw him. Speaking of Mace, we saw him in here leading the charge. Obviously, he's the most powerful uh, as far as, you know, uh, raw strength goes uh, with the purple lightsaber. He uses a little bit of the dark side of the Force. Um, so it'll be cool to see that. Uh, we, saw, we saw Rex on here. Uh, we know that, uh, you know, later... He he must find out there there was an arc way back where the the some of the troopers found out that they had uh, chips in their head that these kind of biological chips that um you know when the emperor said execute order sixty six then uh you know they 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 turned but Rex obviously at some point during this is going to find that and um uh, take it out of his head so we're probably going to see that happen siege of Mandalore. I'm pretty pumped for this one, guys. Uh, you know, uh, Maul is back. Uh, you know, 
uh, was the last thing we saw out of him the the fight with the emperor is that am i wrong on that i don't know but um guys i'm excited for the clone wars to be back and uh you know, we'll just have to, to wait and see. It comes out later this year on the Disney streaming service, uh, I believe, uh, which they announced is going to cost six ninety nine, which is pretty awesome. So uh comes out, I believe it's sometime in November. Um, I could be wrong there. I'm uh, not remembering right offhand. I'll just, just watching the trailer here. But, guys, thanks for listening. Uh, if you want to, please check out the description of this video. Uh, we have the link to our podcast down there. Buddy, uh, a friend of mine and I do every week. Uh, well, we haven't quite been every week here lately, but every week. Uh, like the video, please. That helps us a lot. Also, subscribe for more content in the future. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing a lot of reactions other than Star Wars. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I'm going to be a reaction channel. Um, but per se, but you know, I like doing the star Wars stuff and you know, I like some other nerd stuff too. So we'll see, but guys, thanks for listening until the next podcast later.